Well, we go back to 86. It seems like yesterday. The Angels, born of expansion in 1961, have never won a pennant. And they'll try to wrap it up today. The Red Sox history being one of failure so much, and me being a California guy who wasn't into all that jinx stuff. There's no premature celebration in baseball. The baseball gods will jump on you and, and uh, <laughs> kick you when you're down. Dave Henderson becomes the new Boston center fielder. When Tony Armas chased down that double by Doug DeSensei, he was jarred as he hit the fence. He has come out now, and the Red Sox go to Henderson. My knee was swollen about that big, but Armas went down. McNamara looked at me like this, and I said, well, <laughs> I limped out there and, and played. 2-1 Boston in the last of the sixth. I felt terrible, and we're down by a run, and of course, the, all the jinx talk starts with the, the Red Sox. We're down to our last out. Um, I can see Mr. Autry standing up, uh, thinking he's going to the World Series. You have Reggie also, Gene Mock, you know, so that kind of stood out in my mind probably more than, than anything. Two out, ninth inning. 5-4, tying run at first. I remember looking back at Bob Boone was catching, Donnie Moore on the mound, and 64,000 people in their starting blocks ready to run out on the field. My first thought was, uh, how am I going to get to the dugout after I strike out? <laughs> We're talking about Donnie Moore that uh, had over 30 saves and a great pitcher. In there, they're two strikes away. One and two. So I was just kind of hanging in there. 2-2 two, two pitch. To left field and deep and down he goes back and it's gone. Unbelievable. Astonishing. Anaheim Stadium was a strike away from turning into fantasy land. The Red Sox lead 6-5. to five. You're looking at one for the ages here. I jumped about four feet in the air with torn cartilage, and when I landed, my knee just kind of crumbled. One of the biggest home runs in my career, and of course, in postseason, it makes it that much bigger. I, I looked over, and Reggie's patting Gene Mock on the back, and Gene Mock's putting his glasses in his shirt, and uh, they were celebrating. And then, boom, the home run comes. Once we got back to Boston, we knew they had no chance. I guess the measure of a ball player is when you are hot, they put the crosshairs on you and say, don't let this guy beat you and I still did it.